what it charges. E J O E business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. Well, shit. Now I said that right there. All right. I found this to be interesting. I accidentally, hello, actually came across this. Oh, and I was just looking for things just to find about South Africa. You know, I didn't want to do any music right now. I was just, huh, let me look for some. And I just saw this shit. And, you know, the thing that trips me out is I did this thing um, like a week or two ago. It was American media and one of the people brought up a white genocide. And they mentioned that. I looked in the camera and I was like, yo, is it like that to some people out there? You know, and there's people obviously commenting back like, nah, you know, that's BS. It's not like it. I believe it, you know. But I was watching Fox News. Fox News, that's the right. The name of this is called the far right myth of South Africa's white genocide. All right. The far right is Fox News. I did um, reviews on Fox News with these dickheads, what they talked about um, with South Africa and the things they saw, you know, like, like they'll put stuff out like, oh, they're racist over there. Oh, Julius is racist. He doesn't like white people. Look, he said he wants to kill white people. Oh, look at the president. He doesn't like white people. You know, like they'll, like they just do anything to kind of throw up prejudice, all right? Because, um, Obviously, you know, the white population is the biggest thing in the world, I guess. But anyways, um, you know, they look at it like, like, how about this? Fox News is like, oh, they're white people. But then, you know, black people like, or like, you know, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans and all that Asians, they can be like, oh, nah, that person's racist, you know, white people. But then Fox News, they're white. They'd be like, oh, hell nah, they racist, they black, you know? So it, racism goes every way, you feel me? But... All right, we're about to get to this, but I just think it's funny because once again, it's the far right. The right, that's Fox News. That's conservatives, Republicans. That's Donald Trump. That's his side, all right? So how they're gonna go about the myth of South Africa's white genocide? Yo, I'ma try not to stop it, but this shit might be funny and I might be stopping it. Let's watch this. Y'all tell me how you guys feel about this. Because I will not. It hasn't started yet. But guess what? I'm going to be mad if you guys get upset. All right? Anyways, let's watch this. All right? Dumbass stuff. You know, I told you, man. Some of this stuff, man. The media, it makes people hella stupid about South Africa. Just about Africa, period. Makes niggas scared to go out there. Because like, oh my God, it's bad. You know, like, all like that. So anyways, and I guarantee, wow, they talk about white genocide. Guess what? It gets in a lot of people's head. And that's why a lot of people don't want to go over there. Trust me. All right. You know, because they get that false narrative. All right. Anyways, let's check this out. All right. Let's go. I have heard stories and rumors of something sinister happening in South Africa. And they're bordering on genocide now. They've been attacked. They are being cleansed from the land. The genocide against the white population ready to erupt into an all-out race war. Is there a white genocide happening in South Africa? The far right in the US, Canada and Europe think that there's a widespread campaign of race-based killings of white farmers and land seizures. And even Donald Trump is tweeting about it. Shut up, Donald Trump. Tweet. Look at <clears throat> Already. Already. Already, yo. This is going to be a trip right here. What we're going to watch, you guys. Like, like, this is embarrassing. But in a way, it's funny. It's not even embarrassing to me. Because I'm just like, I'm, I'm not like this. You know, none of my friends is like that. None of my family. You know, so we ain't like that. You know, most of us, like, well, not most of us. All of us want to go over to Africa in the first place. Matter of fact. My cousin's over there right now. He's in Liberia. All right. Aside from that, um, this is, <laughs> let's go, y'all. All right. Let's go. This, you guys, yo, you guys just do not know how, what people learn about Africa over there. I mean, over here, what we learn about over there, because what it is, once again, we don't really learn shit, but we'll just 
learn and hear about stuff that's not good. So it gives us the viewpoint like, oh, it's not why is I don't want to go over to South Africa. So why I just said that is this takes part of it, you know. Okay, you guys ready to watch this again? Because I am too. Enough talking. Problem? The story of white genocide is actually a myth. South Africa has one of the highest murder rates in the world. Its government says that the farm attacks are just part of a greater violent crime problem, and there's no reliable data to suggest that white farmers are targeted more than anyone else. So while white farmers have historically been the victims of attacks, and while the murders have been brutal, it's not clear that they are racially motivated. Analysts suggest that farm murders happen because farmers are seen as wealthy, easy targets, and the isolation of farmlands delay police response times and make it more difficult to catch the attackers. In fact, white South Africans are less likely to be murdered than any other racial group in the country, and farm attacks are actually decreasing. You hear that, y'all? Do you know how many people would think that over here? No. Nope. They hear about those farmers getting killed and hurt. Yeah, and that's how you'll look at it. You'll look at over there like it's dangerous for white people and all black people are going to want to kill me. You know, like, you know, like that. It'll put that in some people's eyes. Obviously, it's not in everybody's eyes. But right there, what he just said, you know, what, like, just like I was saying, like in a little Fox News segment. I did the reaction. That's what they made it seem like. Make it seem like all oh, is just being killed by white farmers and it's just getting killed a lot. All right, let's go back. 47 farm murders were recorded in 2017, down from 67 the year before and from 153 in 1997. So how has talk of white genocide in South Africa spread abroad if it's fake? The spotlight is on South African farms because of the government's land reform measures, which are intended to address racial inequality by redistributing land from white farmers to black farmers who are barred from owning them during apartheid. Two Afrikaner organizations in South Africa, Afroforum and the Suid Landers, are opposed to the land reform and are feeding the myth of white genocide through digital campaigns targeted at international audiences. In 2017, Simon Roche, a member of the Suid Landers, a white nationalist survivalist group I heard preparing about for him. a violent race war, spent the year traveling to alt-right conferences I heard in about the him. U.S. and made guest appearances on a number of podcasts. Soon after, the story of the persecution of white farmers in South Africa started being picked up by more popular far-right figures like Ann Coulter, Katie Hopkins, and Lauren Southern. Even Fox News' Tucker Carlson and... Fox News! Right there, Tucker Carlson. That's that's one of the videos right there. I did a reaction to about that shit. All right. Russia's RT began talking about it. In March 2017, Australia's hard right Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton floated a plan to fast track visas for white farmers. Rallies were held in Australian cities in support of the persecuted white farmers. But why has the far right in the West been so obsessed with a conspiracy so far beyond its borders? The idea of white genocide has actually been around since the 1990s, when neo-Nazi author David Lane mentioned it in his writings. He claimed that government policies which encourage multiculturalism and immigration in Western countries were actually designed to destroy white culture and would eventually lead to making white people extinct. The idea took hold and is peddled by alt-right figures from all around the world. The white genocide is even mentioned in a manifesto by Norwegian far-right terrorist Anders Breivik, who killed 77 people in Norway in 2011, and by American Dylan Roof, who killed nine churchgoers in South Carolina in 2015. Brian Levin, a professor at California... They said the nine churchgoers. It was in uh, South Carolina. There was that white kid. He ended up going to a church. It was a black church, and he killed the people there. I don't, I don't even think. I think he just killed them. Like I don't know if anybody was injured, you know. So, yeah. Twenty 
Saint University of San Bernardino, who studies hate groups, said, The narrative of white genocide has been central to the white nationalist movement across the globe, and it's effective to inform white audiences in Europe and North America of a very real plot to remove or annihilate them by citing the story of white genocide in South Africa as a warning of what could happen when white minorities lose control of their countries. Let me pause this. Pause this. I know you guys can't see it, but you'll see in a minute. South Africa serves as a warning to people of European heritage all around the world. If we lose control of our countries, things will go poorly for us. There's no light at the end of the multicultural tunnel, only ethnic strife, conflict, and tragedy. Is the far right using conspiracy about white farmers in South Africa to make the threat of a white genocide in the West more real? How you guys feel about that? Let me know how you guys feel about that shit. Alright. Thanks for coming, y'all. You already know what it is. We about it.